Got uh, this camera on. Don't uh, pay attention to the fact that I'm not wearing a proper shirt right now. Kind of just woke up. Let's get the lights on. All right. Now we gotta reach under here and push the top button. Make sure it's the top button and not one of the other buttons. The LED's going. This is mostly for me, you know. I know that you guys can see a little bit of this area in the background of the uh, of the streams, but this is just for the aesthetics for me. I like the way it looks. And then we've also got this guy down here that uh, I'm sure that none of you are even aware of. God, this place is messy. Hold on, I'm gonna work on cleaning this thing up. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, hi, I'm Cadet Caboose, and I'm just checking in with you. You see, uh, you know, we just finished our kind of first week-ish of, uh, of streaming, and I kind of wanted to give you an update on how that stuff's going, and also kind of like where I'm at, um, kind of sort of mentally, like those who care, this is kind of like a check-in video, a check-up video, if you will. It's only been a week, I know, but... Uh, I wanted to let you guys know how I'm doing, what's going on. So let's talk about the streams first. Obviously, as you know, earlier this week, we we're having some uh, stream difficulty. We, uh, we we're having uh, audio issues with Halo Infinite. It took me forever to figure out what the hell it was. Turns out it was my um, capture card, which I'm not even using to capture anything. It was just plugged into the PC. As soon as I unplugged it, fixed it. We were also having camera issues. I was extremely worried that the camera issue was because I broke the camera on accident. Uh, the cords were too tight. They bent back inside the sockets and I was worried that the sockets were damaged. Thankfully it was not damaged and I just needed a new cord. So that cord is plugged in right now. It's what we're actually using to record this video. And so now as far as I can tell, the stream is back to one or up. It was never at 100%. So it can't go back to 100%. So as far as I'm concerned, the stream is at 100% now, whereas maybe we started somewhere between like 80 and 85. They're, from a technical standpoint, it's at 100%. From a visual standpoint, we're still somewhere around 90. I'm working on things for the stream to make it more dynamic, um, like a Twitter follow button, and a subscribe button uh, on the stream that uh, you know anybody watching can just click on. I don't really use Twitter for anything, but just posting that I'm about to stream. But it'd be a way for people to get notifications when YouTube doesn't send them out. I'm also working on making a series of shorts. Um, I'm aiming to get five out before the end of the day, and I'm hoping to try to do that every week. Uh, roughly five new shorts every week. We started with two, try to up it to five. Shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> I'm also working on a um, sort of graphical style for that as well, something like a graphics package to add to uh, those shorts videos so that uh, people know that it's uh, they're from live streams, that they can come and follow me over here on YouTube. You know, hopefully we can, uh, we can build the streaming audience a little bit more because this first week of streaming, some of the days have been really great. Uh, folks have been coming into the stream and commenting. There's uh, Brandon Y, CJK, love you, buddy. Um, and, uh, and, uh, Ben from, uh, from the, uh, from the old streams, like Brandon is the only new one who comments a lot. Um, Ben and CJK, I appreciate you guys a whole lot for coming in and, uh, hanging out. But, but those streams, when I have, um, you guys in them have been great. They, I feel like I'm, I'm more engaged and more talkative. I'm more excited to be, uh, to be streaming. And then like there's streams like yesterday where I streamed for five hours 
during the middle of the day, during like the different hours to see if maybe there'd be more of an audience to be coming in. And literally nobody joined the stream at all. Somebody joined at one point, subscribed to the channel. He had been watching me for maybe like 10, 15 minutes. And then he commented and said, what up, what's up, homie? I, I, I gave him a shout out and said, you know, and, and, and tried talking to him and then he was gone. And then the only other person to join the stream was my roommate. And that's it. For five and a half hours, they were the only folks to join. Now understand, I knew going into this that we weren't going to start out with some massive audience. It took me like a month, I think, uh, when I was playing Undertale just to get the audience that I had in Undertale. And we're talking about, like at the time, Undertale, it has it was more like a niche following sort of a sort of a sort of a game like there was a specific audience that was looking for that kind of content and it was kind of small and there weren't a lot of people streaming that game people making content about it sure videos and youtube you know youtube videos and stuff like that uh, let's plays and, and and whatnot but people weren't live streaming it <clears throat> i was one of like the only people live streaming it at the time which made my videos and my and my streams more desirable to come and check out tons of people streaming halo infinite right now tons and tons of people are streaming halo infinite right now i have nothing to help me stand out from the pack besides that maybe my quality is a little bit better although my audio issues probably didn't help nothing at the beginning of the week so it's going to take even longer you know maybe two to three months before i start to see a regular audience of people uh checking out the streams but uh you know hopefully it'll happen i'm i'm hopeful I'm not, I'm not discouraged or disheartened. I'm not going to stop because I'm not seeing an audience after only a couple of days. It takes time. These things take time. I know that. We just got to keep going. That's why I'm making the shorts. The shorts help promote the stream. And then hopefully they help drive uh, drive uh, people over to the channel so that they uh, check out the streams or check out some of my videos and want, decide they want to subscribe. And then, you know, then they'll see that I'm live streaming. So, So that's where that's at. Now, as far as my personal life goes, um, we, uh, we've been working long enough now in the office job that we just got our first paycheck. Physically, I've been fine. I've actually been losing weight. I, I, I started losing weight, uh, pretty much as soon as I got off of the truck, I stopped, um, eating certain types of foods. I basically cut sugar out of my diet. I say basically because I, I do allow myself a little bit of sugar in the form of a, um, like this tiny chocolate bar that I have every day. It's kind of like my mid morning energy boost. So yeah, I'm 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 losing weight. Uh, I'm down to I'm down from nearly 240 down to about 225 uh, in about a month or so. Because I got off of the truck. It was late October. I got off of the truck. I don't remember the exact date, but it's been about a month. So I've lost about 15 pounds, which I kind of expected, like a rapid weight loss immediately after getting off of the truck. And I think that I'll probably bottom out around 222 to 220, and then I'll have to. Um, work off the rest, you know, sit-ups, push-ups, cardio, leg day. So physically I'm doing fine, but mentally, oh my God, work is exhausting. Mentally exhausting. Physically I'm fine. I come home every day and I'm not even sweaty, <laughs> which is great. I don't smell like grease. Um, my hair's not all messed up. Like it's been great uh, from that aspect, but man, it's just so mentally exhausting. There's so much stuff to learn, all these computer systems, all of these different codes to get into different screens and you have to memorize them. You can write them down, but then you got a whole notebook of shit you got to go through. I literally have like, you know, those yellow writing pads. I like half of one of those is completely just full of my notes on how to do various things in the computer system. And every time like, it's like, oh wait, how do I do that again? And then I got to flip, 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 find the right page. Oh, right. But do, 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 do. usually I just needed to help it get me started and then I can remember the rest of it. But it's 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 a bit mentally exhausting. And then I come home afterwards <laughs> mentally exhausted and I get to do uh, the live streams. But it's been good because I'm kind of a workaholic. And so it just feels like I'm just extending my work day a little bit. So besides the mental exhaustion, though, um, I've been doing great. Work's been going good. Um, they like me over there. My boss keeps telling me how I'm doing a great job. And, you know, you're really learning everything and you're willing to to jump in and and and, and do a, you know whatever we need you to do and yada 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 and singing my praises but i i hear that once you've been with the company for a certain amount of time her tone can change with you a little bit if uh you mess something up so we'll see how it goes 
I think she's trying not to like upset me and make me want to quit. They, she, she worked hard to find what she said was the right person for this job. I came to find out that I was the only person who actually showed up for the second interview, but she doesn't want to like, she doesn't want to have to go through the process of having to find another person if I were to leave. So, which I'm not leaving. I'm very happy with the company. I, I want to continue working there. Kind of there's there's a path forward, a progression forward that involves me getting to a point where I'm getting a salaried uh, a salary instead of uh, hourly pay, and I'm looking forward to that. That's my goal. Home life's been um, interesting. Mostly it's me coming home and streaming, but on my days off, I don't know what to do with myself. As I previously mentioned, um, I'm a bit of a workaholic, and when I don't have something to do. I kind of go a little crazy because I need something to do. I constantly want to be sort of doing something, moving. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fucking, I got an energy inside me. I gotta fucking get it out. When I was on the truck, I'd use the uh, the weekend opportunities. I would clean the truck. I'd do my laundry. I'd do this and that and the other thing. But now I have like constant access to laundry facilities that like after work sometimes I just go do my laundry or, um, I, I clean my room like every other day. Everything that I would normally do is done. Last weekend, when I, and when I say last week, I mean like last week on my weekend, I had errands to run. I had to get this whole thing set up and I had to go open up a bank account, which I couldn't do because they needed proof of residency. So then I went to the post office to set up a post office box so I could prove proof of residency but they also wouldn't let me set up a PO box without proof of residency. So then I had to go and change over my insurance over to here, which saved me money, which is awesome, but it was a pain in the fucking ass because I had to do that in order to go back to the post office to uh, open up a PO box to then go back to my bank and show them that I had proof of residency. But it gave me something to do. I can't even go like, ah. This is what's really frustrating about my home life now. So. When I lived with my parents back in Montana, when I had a day off like this, I'd go grocery shopping. And that was an all day sort of event. And the reason why is because the nearest grocery store is 30 miles away. You have to take the interstate and go to another city in order to get to a large grocery store that's gonna have kind of all of your grocery needs. Or if we were going to Costco, we'd have to go the other direction, fucking 50 miles, okay? our trip and if we're gonna go over there you better believe that we're gonna go get lunch that we're gonna go to a bunch of different stores since we don't have access to these places very often and then we're gonna go grocery shopping and it's gonna take two maybe three hours to go around and get all the things that we need check out load up the truck and then finally go home we leave at nine in the morning and we wouldn't come home until 3 34 o'clock it was an all-day sort of event now it's a 15 minute drive to do all that stuff Literally the Costco and the Walmart right next to each other. And I have no reason to go grocery shopping. There's all the groceries that I need for food for the next week. That and that and that. I cook as many of my meals as I can in my Instant Pot. And because my meals are so like few in calories and stuff, like I don't even have to cook that often. Like I, I meal prep and then I'm good for like three days. Do you see my dilemma? I have nothing to fucking do. I know that I can live stream, but I don't want to do that right now. Like that's sort of why I'm working on this video and, and I'm, I'm, I'm creating sort of projects for myself right now. I need stuff to do on the weekends that isn't live streaming. It's not that I'm avoiding live streaming. You done? You done drinking water? Yeah? He's a good girl. He's a good girl. Look at that girl. Get up there. Get up there. Superstar. <laughs> It's not that I'm avoiding live streams or anything. It's just I want to do something different on my days off. Uh, at least one of my days off. Get up, 
get out, go do something, you know, not just sit here at my desk and, you know, make content. Because uh, I feel like getting out and doing something, you know, finding something to do with uh, with my time outside of streaming will help me recharge my mental batteries for the next week of streaming instead of just pushing myself to just keep making more content and burning out uh, before I've had a chance to really see what I'm capable of. You know what I mean? So we're going to kind of take it easy today. You know, it's Thanksgiving after all. So I'm going to work on some shorts. I'm going to work on this video, get it out to you guys uh, before the end of the day, hopefully, and try to enjoy my Thanksgiving alone. The house will be, uh, the house will be pretty cleared out. Roommate's wife and uh, kid are going to go to her mother's house for uh, Thanksgiving and he's got to work. So I imagine I'll probably end up seeing some leftovers at some point, but I'm thinking I want to do something different for my Thanksgiving dinner. So to summarize, I'm doing all right, bit mentally exhausted. Streams seem to be going well, getting better every day. Thanksgiving alone. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. I gun go. Bye for now.